According to a Military.com report by Steve Bainan published on February 10, 2025, the U.S. military has abruptly withdrawn from the Black Engineer of the Year Awards, BEA, a critical STEM recruitment event, following a directive from the Trump administration's Pentagon. The move, part of a sweeping rollback of diversity initiatives, has sparked outrage within the ranks, with one active-duty Army general calling the decision of being racist and warning that it signals a new era of exclusion in military recruitment. For decades, Bayer has been a premier talent pool for military recruitment, attracting top black engineers, students, and professionals. The Army, Navy, Air Force, and Space Force have traditionally used the event to offer ROTC scholarships and secure skilled candidates for high-tech roles vital to modern warfare. Now, under new Pentagon orders, all service branches have been directed to pull out, effectively ending military participation. In compliance with Department of Defense and Headquarters Department of the Army guidance, U.S. Army Recruiting Command will not participate in the upcoming BIA event, an Army spokesperson confirmed. However, service members and civilians may still attend in a personal capacity. The directive follows a January 31, 2025, order from Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth, a key Trump ally who declared that Black History Month, Women's History Month, and all identity-based military recognitions were officially dead. The administration claims these changes remove political bias for military operations, but insiders warn they sever crucial recruitment pipelines and weaken national security. This is one of the most talent-dense events we attend, said one Army recruiter, speaking anonymously. We need these engineers. Losing Bayer sets us back. Another active-duty Army general went even further, stating bluntly, It's effing racist. For the Army now, its blacks need not apply, and it breaks my heart. The decision is particularly concerning given the military's ongoing recruitment struggles. In 2022, black applicants made up 24% of Army enlistments, far exceeding their 14% share of the general U.S. population. Bea has played a vital role in connecting black STEM talent to military careers, a necessity in an era of increasingly technology-driven warfare. Yet, while Bea was abandoned, Army recruiters attended an NRA-sponsored event in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania last week, a gun show with few, if any, STEM applicants. The contrast is glaring. The military is turning away from a reliable source of elite technical talent in favor of a politically aligned, predominantly white venue. Trump's rollback of diversity initiatives mirrors historical military exclusions, from Woodrow Wilson's segregation of the federal workforce in 1913 to Reagan's dismantling of Carter-era diversity programs. Meanwhile, China is aggressively recruiting STEM talent to modernize its military capabilities. By severing ties with Bea, the U.S. military is handicapping its own future technological edge at a time when global adversaries are making unprecedented advancements. For generations, Bea gave black engineers a direct path to serve their country. Now, that door is slamming shut. By cutting off one of the military's most effective recruitment pipelines, the Pentagon isn't just abandoning diversity, it's abandoning its own future. Please subscribe to the Intellectualist's new YouTube channel, where we present insightful videos analyzing the current events shaping the world. Turn on notifications to receive the latest updates from the channel.